So today we're down at one of Melbourne's many urban lakes. It's a classic, beautiful, sunny winter's day. <laughs> Going to be targeting redfin perch on bladed lures today. We've got TT switchblades here. Show you how to catch a few reddies on blade. All right, so what I'm doing here is just keeping an eye on my line on a sort of semi-slack. Line. Basically these fish known to hit a lure on the drop. Just waiting for that line to really slacken off to show that it's hit the bottom and just starting a lift and wind retrieve. Feeling the lure vibrate through the rod, taking up the slack, trying to keep it out of the reeds and weed at the bottom. There we go. Sucker for it. Keep him up out of the weed. There you go. Okay. Nice little ready. Just lift him in. Okay. So you're just watching out for those gill rakers. Right, just grab a pair of pliers, get this treble out. So this is actually uh, what we call a redfin perch, or some people refer to it as an English perch. Introduced species, but uh, something that I find a great little fish to target on, on lures, especially these TT switchblades. I love them, climb all over them. So you can see brightly coloured fins, which is obviously where they get their name, and that sort of stereotypical sharp gill raker on the perch family, and that big sort of bucket mouth. All right, and away you goes. In Victoria, you can release redfin perch, so I will be doing that today. Do check in your waterways though, because not, not all across Australia can you release them. And generally in waters where you've got native fish that they're going to be competing with them against for food, uh, I'd, I'd try and hang on to them. The great thing they've got going for us is that they are a fantastic eating freshwater fish, so you can keep a few for your plate. Another little ready on. Shows how aggressive these fish are. One of the things that I've found most useful in an environment like this where you have to search out your fish is a lure that you can prospect with and, and really find the fish and where they're hiding. By doing a bit of research, you'll find that there's so many of these suburban lakes around and many of them are stocked with native fish and you know, the more sporting of the introduced species like trout. So do a bit of research and get out and try fishing some of these suburban lakes. I often find that the best approach to fishing these lakes is a mobile approach. And just carrying with you a small box of blades like this, fantastic, great prospecting lure, and annoys the fish. Bladed lure, in profile you can see it, it looks quite like a bait fish, but head on, very thin lure. It's actually a metal body with a lead head, and as you retrieve that through the water, it comes up and it shakes and shimmies through the water on the retrieve. Something about a bladed lure that the redfin just cannot leave it alone. It's an aggression thing, it's a feeding thing, but they climb all over them, especially in these sort of bright gaudy colours and as well these golds. This one here, the Aussie green and gold colour, is one of my favourite for targeting redfin because it's got that sort of redfin colour about it. Uh, the other thing to, to note is that ultra sharp hooks, which are fantastic for pinning these aggressive fish, but as well we've got four different toe points. Now, with the style of fishing we're doing today, we uh, want the snap in either the middle or, or towards the back. If we're jigging vertically, what we'd want to do is put this snap right through that front hook, and that just gives it more action. Now, the gear we're using today is a one to three kilo spinning stick, 2,500 size spinning reel. We've got eight pound PE braid, 
and just a six pound fluorocarbon leader. Because I do most of my fishing land base, it really is a big benefit to me to have such a light outfit and as well to have done research before I come. So I know what lures I want to take and I don't have to carry a big tackle box, just a small box of lures and I'm ready to go. Trout. <laughs> there you go, these switchblades not just for redfin, trout too. <laughs> I didn't land it. So that's with most Melbourne days. Started out cold, wet, miserable, and it's just gotten colder, wetter, more miserable. And we've got a wicked westerly coming through, so the wind's picked up. I reckon I'm going to chuck on a jumper. We'll keep fishing, because I know the fish are going to be on. Let's grab a rod, get straight back into it. One of the things I like most about using blades is you can still use a relatively small lure in some pretty windy conditions. The extra weight and uh, the lack of resistance through the air makes them pretty easy to use all the time really. So these blades are a quarter ounce, which when you really think about it, it's quite a bit of weight to have in such a small lure. So I, I can still get out a very reasonable cast, even though I've got probably 15 knots, 20 knots of wind right in my face at the moment. Yep, that's a nice one. Okay. okay. This bike actually hit quite hard for his size. Had me convinced that it was a uh, much larger fish, so wouldn't mind crossing past with this bike again when he's maybe three times the weight. Just getting back in here. There you go, little fella. Yep, that's the fish. Oh, it's a nice fish. Come on, that's your pop. So it seems just running this lure close to the edge of this reed here is producing a couple of fairly nice fish. Another nice little redfin perch or English perch. Just pinned in the jaw there. Okay. That little fish will pop him back in. Yep, fish. Oh. Yep, got him. Oh, he's a decent one. Yeah. There he is, get out of that weed. It's a nice red fin. He has absolutely smashed that switchblade. Just try to keep him out of these reeds, so lift him out of the leader here. Not the ideal way to land a fish. But that, that's a Monty. Cracker of a redfin, probably yeah, about 800 gram fish. You can see he's just smashed that switchblade there. Dark colours, which you tend to find on the larger specimens. 
beautiful colouring. And uh, if that doesn't tell you how much they like these blades, I don't know what can. Fantastic fish. Retrieving this fairly close to that weed bed there, and I actually felt this fish hit two or three times before. I just stopped, let the lure rest, gave it a little bit of a jiggle, and bang, he's absolutely smashed it. So it is one of those things, you can feel subtle hits and they won't necessarily hook up the first or the second time. Just feed the lure back to them, and you can grab something like this. Let's get this bloke straight back into his habitat, into these weeds. Give it a bit of a swim. And there he goes. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> oh, it's a trout! He's a gone trout. <laughs> Our urban waterways are often stocked with fun-sized fishing targets. Using a mobile fishing style and luring approach makes it easy to get out on the weekend or even after work for some fun backyard luring. It's Bill Classen here from The Fishing Show and if you like this instructional video and want to learn more, it's simple. Go to fishingshowtv.com.au and see a whole host of additional videos.